Russia can actually take a longer term view of this. So that's why I think it's important that we that we look that we talk in terms of winning, doing everything we possibly can to help Ukraine win, which means smashing the Russian military before it can get back up on its feet. Otherwise, we will be dealing with this again for months to come. So can President Zelensky settle for a ceasefire and allowing the Russians to to hold the Donbass and maybe cut off the country from the, the Black Sea and certainly the Sea of Azov. I mean, can he actually settle for that then? Well, of course, this is going to be a sovereign decision for the Ukrainian government. I don't believe, I don't believe that he wants to do that. I don't believe that domestically, politically, he can do that. I don't think there's any appetite in Russia. I'm sorry. I don't believe there's any appetite in Ukraine for, for doing something like that. I mean, uh, the you know, every day we hear about more murders uh, or bodies being um, dug up uh, that were murdered by Russian soldiers. I'm, I'm sure we're going to keep finding more of these. Um, so I think the Ukrainian people are not willing to settle for that. Now, I can't speak for a mother whose son is in, in huge danger, but my sense from listening to members of the RADA from uh, Ukrainian journalists, and then from President Zelensky himself. You don't get the sense that they're looking for any settlement just to stop this. And candidly, I don't think that should be the, uh, that is not the uh, ultimate objective. The priority has got to be uh, those categories or aspects of winning that I described, and that should be the priority for the United States also.